When life evolved out of matter, substantial transformations occurred. What was not possible in a purely material world suddenly became not only possible, but a key principle. Matter itself, to accommodate the life force, had to become more fluid, more flexible, and responsive to changes that could not be conceived of when looking at the material universe. Similarly, when mind evolved out of life and matter, we see another seemingly radical adjustment in the way both matter and life respond. The advent of mind has brought about enormous changes to the action of the life force and the action of matter. It can be seen then that each successive development of a new principle of consciousness brings about qualitative and quantitative changes in nature that could not be seen nor fully appreciated nor even anticipated from the previously manifested stages. We can also see a trajectory in the expression of consciousness across the developments thus far, and that trajectory can aid us in gaining an understanding of what can be expected from the next evolutionary development. We see an increasing power of awareness and action. We see an increasing power of insight, self-reflection, and expression. We see an increased awareness of our environment, of our interdependence and essential oneness, and an increased focus on our spiritual existence and the meaning of our lives. We can expect that the evolution of the supermind will continue along the lines of this trajectory, as well as leverage far greater powers toward addressing the limitations, disharmonies, and issues that are evident from the advent of life and mind in matter. Sri Aurobindo notes, quote, If supermind exists, if it descends, if it becomes the ruling principle, all that seems impossible to mind becomes not only possible, but inevitable. If we look closely, we shall see that there is a straining of mind and life on their heights toward their own perfection, towards some divine fulfillment, towards their own absolute. That, and not only something beyond and elsewhere, is the true sign, the meaning of this constant evolution and the labor of continual birth and rebirth and the spiral ascent of nature. But it is only by the descent of supermind and the fulfillment of mind and life by their self-exceeding that this secret intention in things, this hidden meaning of spirit and nature can become utterly overt and in its totality realizable. This is the evolutionary aspect and significance of supermind. But in truth, it is an eternal principle existing covertly even in the material universe, the secret supporter of all creation. It is that which makes the emergence of consciousness possible and certain in an apparently inconscient world and compels a climb in nature towards a supreme spiritual reality. It is, in fact, an already and always existent plane of being, the nexus of spirit and matter, holding in its truth and reality and making certain the whole meaning and aim of the universe." End quote. Reference. Sri Aurobindo and the Mother, The Hidden Forces of Life, Chapter 6, Hidden Worlds and Evolutionary Forces, pages 150 to 151.